Hello everyone, this is Sala and you are watching tutorials on JavaScript. It is now time to learn data types in JavaScript. So you have already seen the list of data types in the previous tutorial. We will pick one data type from the list and discuss it thoroughly. So the first data type in the list is undefined. So in this tutorial, we will pick undefined from the list and you will learn how to work with it. Are you ready? So let's check it out. So undefined is a special data type and it has only one value that is also undefined right so let's see now how do we create a variable of undefined type so what you see here is a variable product which is assigned a value undefined now before we go further and dig into it i want to explain something to you if you remember in the previous tutorial i said JavaScript is a loosely typed language. So why do we say JavaScript is a loosely typed language? So let's try to find out the answer because it will help you to understand data types in JavaScript. In computer systems, we have both loosely typed languages and strictly typed languages. Famous languages like C++, Java, and C Sharp are strictly typed languages because they define strict syntax let's say if you want to work with whole numbers in c sharp so you need a variable to store numbers and when you create such variable you will first specify its data type using the keyword int and then you will write the name of your variable and finally you will perform an assignment similarly if you want to work with floating point numbers then you will specify data types using the keyword double then a name and then assignment and the same you will do with other data types like string core and boolean to see here is strictly typed languages have special data type keywords which are used in creation of variable and once you have created variables in strictly typed languages then you are bound to give them right value for example you can't assign a string type data to a floating point variable so there are strict rules and syntax in strictly typed languages now coming back to javascript in javascript we don't have such a special data type keywords all we have is let and constant the question is how do we make variables of different data types in javascript and the answer is the value that we assign to a variable works as data type keyword so this undefined value sets variables data type to undefined and you can double check it using type of operator and there you see the data type of our variable is set to undefined now if somewhere in the program you put something else in your variable other than the undefined value such as number or string then the data type of your variable will be changed with respect to the value you assigned let's say if i assign number to the same product variable so in the output you will see the data type of our variable is now changed the data type is now number so the bottom line is the values that you assign to the variables set their data types you need to notice one more thing in the previous tutorial i said that one variable in javascript can be of several types and here you see an example on that like at the time of creation the data type of our product variable was undefined and then it changes to number type right let's now see how do we work with undefined data type so the first statement where i initialize variable with an undefined value is totally unnecessary i wrote it for a studying purpose but in real programming we don't write statements like this because by default any uninitialized variable gets the value of undefined like now our variable is uninitialized so the javascript will automatically assign the value of undefined to it 
and if you run the program you will see the same output as before right now in practical programming you can't perform any real operation on a variable containing undefined value like this product variable here this variable is undefined and you can't use it until unless it is given a real value so in the situations when you are not sure if your variables containing real data or not then you can check them against undefined value and this is the only use of undefined data type or value to find out if variables containing real data or not you can simply write an if statement to check your variable for example Right, so before performing any real operation on the variable, you can check it against the undefined value. In this case, our product is undefined, so the statement is true. And you will see this message in the console. And don't worry about the if statement, we will cover it in the future. Here, I just want to show you how do we practically use undefined in JavaScript. Right, so that was our first data type in the list. Now you know what undefined is and how do we check any variable against the undefined value our second data type in the list is number that we are going to discuss in the next tutorial so stay tuned and thanks for watching